So, so tell me a story of a challenge that was faced and somehow the school was better or the person was better for having faced that challenge. Uh, give me a sec. Trying to remember Stone's history, this has happened. School was better or person was better? I'm curious what you were going to tell while the rest of us are thinking. Me? Yeah, because you yeah, started you saying... Story. Why don't you just tell the story? I'm going to tell you so a What's word. the challenge? Oh, I remember, so I was going to say how you used to um, pick up acorns and throw them. Yes. And at the very first of your green COVID-19. side, there are acorns everywhere. And we had actually a bag of them. Mm-hmm. And then we would just take some out I'm and throw them um, at each other. That was fun. Yeah. And you had to, and, and you quickly learned that you had to take off the little shaft bits on the end. Yeah. And then we had to actually, that's actually a story that would help the, the school and uh, the student. Hmm. You, had, you had to take off the shaft bit before you threw it at someone. Mm. Which is um, why that bag ha- never had them on. Yeah. Did you manage to think of a challenge? We, All we, I could think of was COVID-19. COVID-19? <laughs> okay. That was wild. How did we get through that, guys? Few I remember, I remember, I remember we were like, we could play outside without our masks on as long as we were like proper that, social that was, distancing. That was 2021. Yeah, yeah during awesome. 2020. You know what? I've, I've, I've remembered the challenge that we came through. It was like a triple challenge. Can I? Yeah. 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 All right. So do you remember when we got seriously burgled and they took all our stuff? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? History of and then we started putting together a fundraiser to try and get some money to replace some of our stuff. And right then, my dad had a stroke. And mm. I had to fly down to a different city to go and uh, support him in the hospital because he'd been on holiday when he had the stroke. So I was suddenly pulled out of being able to support with this fundraiser or any of the crises that were going on. And I was really worried about like what was going to happen because I'd kind of been anchoring it. Uh, Angelo, you were one of the people involved at that point, I think. I was? Yeah, yeah you were. were. The yeah. Patreon. When you did the stream and everything. Wait, and, oh, the Patreon. Oh, well, the Patreon also. Yeah, that's, that's so a more recent chat. The one, that's yes. the recent. Oh, I so thought the, we were so talking let's, about the Let's go there as well. So, so anyway, yeah, it was mostly the older teens, and I think you were still a little young then. I don't remember what's All strange. right, so this must have been um, Bear and Karen. Bear, Karen. And Kyle. 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 Anyway, the point is that the older teens at that point just did it. They just, mm. it's like, I just wasn't there, and they just made the thing happen. Mm. And they managed to raise a whole lot of money. And then we didn't have to buy very much because we also got given a whole lot of stuff. So that's how we ended up having our own Oculus VR thing because the kids had always wanted that and we ended up having enough money for that. But then briefly, Angelo, um, we recently had a challenge this year because we've got this basic education laws amendment bill, which has been a real problem in South Africa. That we're kind of trying to deal with it and it's scaring off a lot of uh, people from signing up. And we've also got this crashing economy in South Africa. So a lot of our parents have been very impacted financially. So uh, we were really running at a loss and we didn't know if we could stay in this venue. And mm. we put together a Patreon page. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. so unsure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the specifics of like, I'm being told I was in a stream. <laughs> so like, yeah, no, we got this. That was the previous one. Yeah, I'm, I'm still like focusing yeah. on the previous one. I'm like, wait, yeah. what? The page yeah. was really fun doing like the adverts and like painting on the um in the art room. Mm. With like yeah. when we got like when mm-hmm. what how what would you call the people the patrons? Patrons. Yes. Yeah. We got patrons. We would like write down their names in the art room with paint and we would like write them videos, thank you videos and it was mostly me, Kate and another boy who usually did it. Yeah. The thank you videos and like the ads and stuff. Mm. And then there were other stuff. Yeah. So you can still support our Patreon actually, because we're still running at a loss. Uh, we're very right. grateful to our patrons because they are definitely helping us keep going. So maybe we'll give you the link that you can put that in the in the chat. And um, these amazing students will then write your name on the art room wall. And depending on what you donate, you might even get your own custom designed digital artwork or your own thank you video or, yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. 
What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.